making our vow back on Tazer's number one, this time yes. fighting for the 170 pound title. Yeah. Uh, stacked bracket, your first match up against J Rod. How are you feeling coming into the whole bracket or that match against Jay? Just tell me how you feel. Um, so, first of all, I think that the fact that I'm coming back to who's number one after a while is something uh, very good for me because it has been quite a while since I stepped in the US. Well, my last was number one, it was, I think, after ADC. No, wait was before ADCC. Um, I fought like my last time here in the last year before September. Last yeah. August, yeah. So I think that the feeling is I think the same. I probably uh, would try to just give my best up there just the way I always do. But this time I came with something a little more, you know, a, a, a different feeling. Because all the times I always fought with something I was like, okay, I just want to be driven to the to the fight and try to get the submission this time this is not going to change but the feeling that i have this for this bracket is that i'm ready and i have like the right guns for everyone uh the three of them are like very capable opponents i'm going to be first facing off against jay rod and i know that his game is a very strong a top game also with uh some good pressure passes with the body lock passing there uh and with many back takes i think that this match it's a 15 minute match but still you can expect like something to happen even on the 10 seconds, 20 final seconds, because you could see on the trials that he did there, uh, it was like a lot of matches coming up just by the final, so you can never lose the attention. But I feel that the way that I, I, I do my things, the way that I, I, I conduct the matches everywhere, and the way that I, I've been training my whole life, I have the right uh, stuff to go up there, put on my show for everyone, try to go for the submission, and you know, Get a title. That's what I came here for. <laughs> uh, on the other side of the bracket is Andrew Tackett and PJ Barch. Um, if Andrew advances, that'd be a rematch from your Who's Number One debut. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that match? Have you watched kind of Andrew's growth? Do you think that it's a different match coming in? I think that I definitely uh, 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 watched many of his matches. Andrew has definitely grown up and has got uh, uh, gotten his game better. But still, he didn't lose that boy back there where he would just like go have some crazy exchanges and it's funny because like I, I remember watching some of his matches where he said that he loves to be sweaty because then he could go and do the scrambles do the stuff that he likes so he's a funny guy he's uh someone that i really would look forward to a rematch because that night i remember it was like one of the best night uh, fights of the night even mo came up to us and said that it was a a good scrap like one of the best matches I've ever seen so i would look forward to a match with him uh but also you can take pg out of the out of the count because we were talking about a veteran a guy that is like with a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience both of them have very good chances of going each side andrew is a new upcoming you expect like infinite cardio from him <laughs> and from pj you can expect experience and uh the guy that can take up the paces he even fought in adcc he took up uh, the, the 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 reigning champ um gt so i'm also as an athlete, but also as a fan, gonna be excited to watch the match and know who's coming from the other side. Uh, if you read kind of what's happening on social media when we announce the brackets, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody's talking about you in this division as the boogie, right? The, maybe the favorite, <laughs> the person that everybody's kind of kind of get through. Do you feel any pressure from that? No, not at all. I feel that they're kind of okay, like saying that and all. I don't want to take it up to my head. Uh, I like to feel that way. I like to feel that I'm not in the bracket with the, the, the three other guys. They're in the bracket with me. I think that's the, the way you should be thinking. That's the way you got to act and like take it to your life. It's just something that never as a kid it like made me bad or maybe like uh, too high up or too confident. Sometimes you could tell that people put a lot of pressure on me and they would ask, Mika, are you feeling bad about this? How you feel the pressure? How do you feel the, the event? Like for example, even ADCC, ADCC, I wasn't feeling a lot of pressure, but I'm gonna keep my eye open and I'm gonna have a lot of attention because this uh, bracket is stacked. I can't lose focus for even a second. And I'm just pretty excited to go out there, give a show to everyone. I think that I have, as I said before, the right uh, tools to go out there, give it a show and come out with submissions on both my matches and get the 170 pounds title. That's uh, what I've been looking for. I want to ask you real quick about mm -hmm. the 145 pound bracket, of course, your teammate Diogo, Yogito. Baby Shark, <laughs> fighting for the 145 <clears throat> pound title in another four man bracket. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think Diogo's day look like, looks like tomorrow? Uh, I will 
always put my bet on Diogo because uh, it's funny. Nobody just like gives uh, Diogo the right credits. I saw like comments, I saw like the posts and stuff, people telling, oh no, this guy's gonna win, this guy's gonna win, this guy's gonna win, and they're taking off Diogo out of the count. But if you look back, Diogo's literally like the reigning ADCC champ of last year. He was the only guy living in Brazil that won the, the ADCC title. His matches are always something like very amazing because you don't understand what's happening until he peaks and like tells people like, okay, I did this because of that. <laughs> so like, I don't know how people still like say that he's not the favorite of this bracket. For me, he is. And it would be cool to watch uh, 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 the bracket because uh, he has two possible matchups that are, are rematches. One is Gabriel from uh, ADCC and also Ashley Williams with, uh, from ADCC too. And I'm just excited. As I said, as an athlete, I would look forward to being there and watching the match, studying the opponents and all. But also as a fan, that's like something amazing. And of course, if I could uh, uh, put all my money on Diogo, I would. No doubts at all. <laughs> Last question, five men are right here on the card uh, tomorrow night. Do you feel like you're, uh, your hometown, are you proud your hometown is that well represented here? Yeah, very much. Um, I, I, I make jokes about that like all the time. Like, oh, if you go and face him on our you know you're going to have a hard time there because we do a lot of strength. That's our, like, we have five minutes rules of, like, okay, let's just do five minutes without losing the friendship. That's what we call Su Chin. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pretty uh, uh, sure that we're going to represent our hometown. That's just the way we always grow. We have hard times there. We have, like, hard times coming here because we're very far. <laughs> for grappling even went there to see how it is. And I'm just, like, happy, you know, grateful for uh, the opportunity, the way that people uh, uh, are you know succeeding I know there's like people that are not from our school or like opposite teams but as I said uh, before many times Jiu Jitsu is only one flag everybody's like friend there you just gotta like go out there do your work and then later on shake hands and if they're from my hometown of course I'm gonna be even more cheerful for them <laughs> Mais uma coisa, uh, o público pôde assistir no uh, Pedro de Stars, no Combate. Dá uma mensagem para eles. Agora ele está falando em português, ele está falando em brasileiro. Então agora a mensagem vai para o público brasileiro. Pessoal, caso vocês queiram pegar e assistir a Flow Grappling, é, é, vai estar, tá, na verdade, transmitindo a luta pelo BGDStars.tv. Você pode estar tá fazendo sua subscrição lá para assistir eu, o Dioguinho, os outros malaras e os outros brasileiros no evento. Vai ter uma galera lutando. Então não perde a oportunidade de estar torcendo aí pro seu, pro seu time e vamos nessa. Tamo junto, espero vocês lá e bora pegar esse título. Uss. <risos>